Hello everybody. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to use uh, or how to set up the uh, um, weapons and attach them and use them in the uh, micro module that I created for Game Creator 2. Uh, it's called uh, Simple Melee. Um, it's actually fairly simple. I have here the scene from um, the famous uh, Sinti. Uh, this is just a knight's um, um, town. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a character to this, or actually a player, which is the one that we're going to uh, use. And he got added way over there. So let's bring him over closer to us. OK. We're now here. Let's raise it up to the floor. OK. And we're actually going to create as well a um, character. Uh, and this character, we're essentially just going to make it into the enemy so that it receives some damage or, or does something. So uh, we're going to create a tag for it. We're going to call it enemy. Actually, should have reused that one as enemy. Okay. All right. So we're going to click on that character, we're going to tag it as enemy, we're going to tag our player as player. Okay, so it's all good. Let's bring this character up to one first. Okay, good. Now let's select a couple of characters here from uh, the scene, since we have the scene for that. So let's go to the uh, prefabs here, and for our player, let's make it the king. Why not? Oh, it doesn't expand. There we go. So we're going to make him into the king. Where was that? Yep, he's now the king. And then our character, uh, let's make him into the... Actually, there should be a skeleton somewhere in here, no? Oh, wait, that's... Uh, I'm looking at the policy, the other item here. So let's look at the characters. Fix, actually... I should have used the six no, the fixed scale for the king. Again, let's try this one more time. There we go. That's better. And then the fixed scale for the enemy, we're gonna make him into a uh, soldier. Why not? Let's pick up this soldier black. There we go. So that's our enemy. Now you notice that the the bones are all messed up. That's actually going to be quite easy to fix. Uh, we're going to go over to the root of each one of these. We're going to go the game creator, characters, skeleton. We're going to call this Sinti skeleton and we'll drag our player over. So we have now the skeleton for this character and the same skeleton should still also work for the knight and it really does. Excellent. So that's the uh, first thing that we're going to do. So the second thing we're going to do is uh, kind of like still doing the setup for this. We're going to uh, traits to this. And I have all the examples installed from Game Creator. So I have some of the uh, prefabs from this. So I'm going to select that this is a knight and I have all of these nice data here. So that's great. And then for our character, I'll do the same. Why not? Let's add traits and uh, let's make him into, sure, a knight as well. Okay, so now that they both have traits, the one more item that I'm going to do is on the player itself, I'm going to add a simple character melee. And we will create a couple of weapons for him. So here in this folder, I am going to create... Uh, I have it here in custom simple weapon and I'm just gonna call it sword and we're gonna go over to the polygon knights we're gonna choose weapons and we're gonna copy one of the weapons that they have here so let's select a uh, sword let me see is there a sword in here uh, it doesn't look like there is one uh, there is a broad sword uh, sure why not let's select this broad sword so we're gonna drag it over we're gonna make a copy of it because we're gonna edit this all right so we're gonna open up this first of all we're gonna delete this ugly uh, mesh collider and we're gonna add a box collider we're gonna size it up so that it is uh, uh, 
basically on the blade. So let's do 0.2. That sounds about right. Uh, let's leave that the way it is for now. And then as thick as 0 0.06, which is roughly about what it was before, but I like smaller numbers. And let's bring this up a little bit. So let's bring it to 0.5. Yeah, it's roughly about the same size, but it's too long. Let's make this into 0.75. And let's bring it down a little bit here, 0.45. That sounds about right. Still a bit too long for my liking. So let's make it 0.65. And then let's bring it down to 0.425, 0.4. Three. Yeah, that's about right. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to make sure that it only um, occupies the blade here. All right, so that's what uh, the setup for the weapon is, at least the, uh, the initial setup. So we're going to bring this over to the game object on the weapon. That's the first thing that we're going to do. So the attack power currently have it set to 5, but we can, uh, because we have the... Um, we have the stats. I can just choose to use the uh, formula here. And, and I believe this is not being used yet. Um, so stat value player and let's choose strength. Uh, yeah, this 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 item here is not used right now, um, but I have it there just in case uh, there anyone wants to create their own custom properties for each of the weapons. Um, all right, so I have a couple of animations downloaded from the uh, from Blink. So I'm just going to go over there and let's look for something that kind of resembles some sort of attack. So there's a one handed attack and oh, it looks like it's got the, this the one. Yeah, it looks like that this this would potentially work. Uh, I'm not going to modify anything in here. I'm just going to select the, um, the attack. I'm just going to duplicate it for now, just because it make it, makes it a lot easier to contain everything on the same folder. And I'm just going to drag it over here. And I'm not going to apply any mask or any root motion. Should be just fine here. And then the bone that we want to attach this is the right hand. Um, so, so far, so good. So I'm going to save the scene. I'm going to hit on plate which is going to immediately attach the weapon to the character assuming that I don't have any other issues here looks like I have plenty of issues in the uh, scene what's this talking about simple character oh I probably didn't attach the weapon yes that's what I didn't do there we go uh, now I can click on play and it should attach the weapon to yeah it did attach the weapon it's just it's not attaching the way that we want it to so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this weapon um, we're gonna rotate it so that we have the correct placement just roughly about there down a little bit uh, looks about right yeah looks about right tiny a little bit down here Maybe a little bit there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these uh, locations here, and I'm gonna open up. Um, I'm gonna open up Paint here. I'm gonna paste that, and I'm set this off to another screen for now. And I'm just gonna pause this, or actually stop. I'll go over here, and I just place the location of where uh, that was set. So that was 0 0.81. And then that is 0 0.16, sorry, 0 0.16. Then this is actually going to remain at 0. This is minus 90. And that's about it. That's uh, looks like that's all that I need to modify. So if I click on play again, it looks like I have this error from somewhere else but I'll just dismiss it for now. And hmm. Oh, I know what the error is. I think it's because my event system here is just set to the wrong. All right, so let's click on play again. 
And there we go. This is my character. You can see he's got the weapon. Handling it correctly, but I can't attack just yet. All right. So what we're going to do for that is we are going to go to the player. And I'm going to add a new child to it. I'm going to call it logic. And inside of logic, I'm going to add visual scripting trigger. I'm going to call it trigger attack. So that when I go to input on input, and I'm going to select the uh, this attack, which is going to be the right click on the um, sorry, the left, the, the left click on my mouse uh, or the West button on the uh, gamepad, um, which is something that I provide with the actual module as well. Uh, I'll add the instruction here to debug the actually uh, debug. Uh, uh, well, actually, no, because I have to set it up to be the attack. So I'll go to simple melee and then do attack, and then the attack is going to be invoked on the player. That's all it's going to do. Um, so I wouldn't expect a whole lot more other than uh, doing the animation. So if I move around and I click on click, it does the animation for the attack, just like we what we expect to do. So if I get closer to this enemy here, nothing happens, nothing at all. Yeah, because we haven't programmed that at all. All right, so I'm going to go back to the actual weapon itself. I'll open up the prefab, and I'm going to add a trigger. And this trigger is going to be configured for, uh, actually, one of the things we want to do as well is the box collider. We're going to set it to be a trigger. And then we're going to do on trigger enter. On trigger enter tag, and the tag that we're looking for is enemy. We'll add here the uh, a debug line. So debug text, and we're going to say it so that it says the target name, at least for now. So we will click on play, and because we changed the tag for the enemy to be uh, uh, enemy, we're going to go there, and there we go. The name of the character is character. So if I do it again, when I'm closer to him, there we go, character again. Okay, there you go, character. Perfect. So if I name this uh, Black Knight, assuming I spelled it correctly, of course, um, and I get close to him again, and then I go and hit him, there you go, Black Knight. So we know we're definitely getting the data from that character. So now what we're going to do is, again, open up that weapon. And we're going to select, uh, instead of logging that, we're going to say um, set attribute. So change attribute of the target. We're going to select the uh, HP to be, uh, let's say, subtract, but what, 30 would be a... Uh, Okay, or we can actually set it to subtract um, from a formula or specific attribute that the player has, but for now we're going to set it to 30. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the Black Knight so we can actually see its traits in here. So if I hit this Black Knight, we should see the uh, HP reducing a little bit. And let's take a look here, and there you go. HP has been reduced. And that is pretty much the simple melee micro module in a nutshell. It's just set up. You can set up multiple weapons for multiple um, enemies or different characters. Uh, if you want to have multiple animations, well, this is not meant to be full feature, so I'm sorry. I, I do not know how to accommodate for that. Um, but uh, this is uh, on GitHub, so if you have any sub, uh, suggestions uh, or you know how to code, um, then feel free to take this and, and expand it however you want. Uh, and that is uh, pretty much it. Everybody, uh, have yourselves a great day and enjoy this micro module. Bye.